Yo, check it. Alright guys, what is up? You are back for another video of Data Zero. In this video, we're looking at AMC, Jamie, and Spy. We're also looking at cryptocurrency and the overall stock market. This is your weekly outlook and prediction, giving you guys the fundamentals and technicals that you need to know as a trader and investor. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe this week is going to be absolute chaos. I am hyped. Hopefully this video gets you hyped. I don't even care. We are hyping this video. It is going to be the absolute chaos. I believe we're about to witness history. So we're going to get to all that and more in this video. You do not want to miss a second of this update. Cram pack full of the information you need to know as a trading investor. Let's not waste any more of your precious time and hop in the charts, the facts, the data. Let's go. All right, guys, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we're going to give you the weekly outlook and prediction. We're going to be looking at SPY. We're going to be also looking at the cryptocurrency market. And we're going to be giving you guys an outlook and projection on what I think is going to be happening. We're also looking at the meme stocks, AMC, and GMEs as well. Ladies and gentlemen, this week could truly, truly be special. I don't want to hype us up too much just in case it turns out to be not what I think. But from what I'm looking at here on the charts, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to witness possible history okay within at least a week or two i believe that the market could begin to crash i believe that this crash is actually starting right now from what i'm seeing guys this is unprecedented from everything that we have seen on the charts for what we're seeing in the sell-off in spy not only did we have this insane face melting rally but I believe a counter rally is coming, which is going to be just as devastating. I believe that this is on the horizon, and I believe that this week could be the start of all of it. I believe that actually it started this last week here, but I believe that this week could be the beginning of some true capitulation here on SPY. We're going to get into all that and more in this video. We're going to be talking about Bitcoin, and let's go ahead and hop in the charts. This video is not financial advice. Please do your own research and do this before buying any stock or crypto asset. So I want to show you guys right here, Bitcoin's resilience to not break underneath about 59,000. Every time Bitcoin comes down to about these ranges, it gets bought back up and has a very, very good bounce. Right now, it looks like Bitcoin is trying to build another attempt to push to the upside. Now, the halving has took place. The halving is in action. So we are officially in the halving a few Months after the halving, we normally hit all-time highs again. So we already have this peak of 73K. That most likely is going to be beat, even if we did see some type of drawdown here on BTC. Now, what I'm seeing here on the daily time frame is showing me that momentum is trying to build back to the upside, and we're going to make another attempt at trying to break these key levels of 65 and 69.2K. If we can break and hold those levels, you will see Bitcoin absolutely start to fly if we can break and hold those levels. But we need to break and hold those levels and maintain those higher price ranges here on BTC. Do be aware that if BTC does break below that 59K level, that it will see a significant drop to the downside because we did rally into that level and there is little or to no support and resistance. We do have previous price action history there, but as of right now, we have little support as we've made two massive movements to the upside. So if we did lose this major level of support, you would be seeing a move down to about 50K per BTC, which would probably be a very good buying opportunity in my personal opinion bitcoin seems to be making new price structure where it is going to make new prices so i do think bitcoin could hit eighty thousand dollars per coin still to this day and i do believe that higher highs are coming for btc it is only a matter of time in my personal opinion i'm going to continue holding my btc and even buy some more btc with the profits that i cashed out from the original move when i bought down here at the lows of about 16 to 17 thousand i was buying i let everybody know the official accumulation range under 28 thousand would be good if you can get any in anywhere under 28k you'll be making a great amount of profit and that turned out to be a very very good set of moves as you guys can see we rallied all the way up to about 73k i took profit around 68k personally moving into usdtc which i can now buy to more buy get more bitcoin with 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, I also hold a long-term Bitcoin position, which I continue to hold, as I do think Bitcoin is going to be one of the best assets that we possibly have and one of the greatest opportunities for people my age and, of course, older and younger, but especially for my age and younger because we don't have that many opportunities as far as investing in vehicles right now and things are not looking good for the future, if I can just be blunt about it. So, guys, this is going to be one of the best investment opportunities that I can see for people my age and younger. Now, this is what I'm looking at for the overall cryptocurrency market. Um, that's what I'm looking at for Bitcoin. I do think we will see higher prices as far as technicals or anything like that coming down immediately. We did have this falling wedge. We did break to the upside. We're holding these key levels of 60K and we do need to see these higher highs of 65.6K broken and 69.2K. Everything that I just went over, that is what you're looking for as a trader and investor for BTC and not breaking underneath that 50K level. Ethereum seems to be holding $3,000, which is bullish for Ethereum. If Ethereum can hold this $3,000 level, you could see a decent push to the upside. But right now, while Bitcoin is having the overall dominance, altcoin season has not started. When Bitcoin moves, most of the altcoins will move. Now, there is some action going on here and there with different altcoins um, at different times, which you can find. But Mostly when you see Bitcoin pump is when you're going to see these altcoins make massive moves as Bitcoin dominance is still remaining very, very high. So this is what I'm looking at for the overall cryptocurrency market. Let's go ahead and move into stocks and show you guys what's going on for SPY and what I believe to be happening and starting to occur right now. We're going to go ahead and hop into this chart and just show you some interesting facts because RSI is extremely oversold. But we have to look at previous crashes because I do believe we are entering a crash. Now, we should be seeing some type of recovery bounce here for SPY, but it doesn't look like SPY is going to get any momentum anytime soon. I'm thinking what we'll most likely see here on Monday is another weak attempt by bulls to try to push it to the upside with overall movement remaining to the downside. From what I'm seeing right now, momentum is just completely pushed to the downside. It is very 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 clear who is control right now and what is going to be happening next if we go ahead and pop on the alligator i'll show you guys some interesting facts with the alligator alligator bearish momentum showing that momentum is completely to the downside any rallies that i see spy having they will be met with bears that will take control and push it to the downside i do not believe spy has what it takes right now to make any type of of up movement. The only thing we're going to be seeing is slight bounces to reset RSI and a continuation to the downside. I believe that we are going to see SPY really start to capitulate here shortly. As you guys can see, momentum has completely shifted and we are totally bearish from the daily MACD to the four hour MACD to the hourly MACD and so on and so forth. We just have bearish momentum, especially up here in these higher time frames. You guys can see even weekly MACD has shifted bearish and we have a ton of room to run to the downside because RSI was so overextended to the upside. Here on the daily time frame, if we go back to history, you guys can see that the daily time frame has went as low as 20 here on the RSI. So we still have room to run as daily time frame RSI is still not yet oversold you guys can see that there's still room to run to the downside and historically we have hit 20 or lower before correcting from any type of crash here on the daily time frame spy is now breaking back inside of this bearish flag we had a bearish flag forming quite some time for spy it is now starting to break back inside of these levels and i do believe that if we see spy break back inside of this flag and move to the downside and this price level is around the level of 494 if we break underneath that and lose that as support you're going to see spy start to capitulate so spy is very very close to these key levels that we're going to see spy really start to lose it if it does break these levels we're going to be looking at 493 494 around that range here on the channel i'm going to go ahead and mark it in a rectangle for you guys to give you guys an idea of what we would be looking at as far as range that if we do lose it you're going to see spy really start to fall so if we do lose these levels of support here around that 494 493 level you're going to see spy really start to capitulate in my personal opinion so we are sitting basically on the edge and we have momentum completely shifted to the downside stocks that have been holding the market up are all starting to tank if you look at meta 
Meta starting to tank. It has a massive gap filled to the downside. NVIDIA has a massive gap filled to the downside that has not been filled and has multiple gap filled to the downside. NVIDIA is going to be coming all the way down to 300. Just imagine a market where NVIDIA starts moving down all the way to 300 at the same time where Meta starts to fill its gap and Apple starts to fill its gaps here that it's been leaving after they had these massive rallies to make these overvaluations completely out of control. NVIDIA should have never hit prices of $974 per share. Yes, the earnings were extreme, but they were not sustainable. They are not sustainable. This market is not sustainable. It is a complete bubble, and I believe that we are starting to see that bubble pop, and I believe that everything that I talked about on this channel is about to come to fruition, including AMC and GME seeing a rally, which we'll talk about here in a short few. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that Bitcoin is going to be able to decouple from the market. It might have an initial pullback when this crash does happen. But I believe that Bitcoin will become the safe haven and move like gold and move to the upside. Even if we do have a WW type 3 conflict, I believe that Bitcoin is going to make insane price action. And we are not done with this rally that you've seen here. In fact, I think Bitcoin is about to do something absolutely insane. I don't have all of the concrete facts on that, but I do believe 80K is definitely on the cards. And I will be talking about this more in the future as the channel is going on. Now, guys, I do believe that we're starting this crash. OK, I believe that the crash is actually going to be starting here within this week or next week. So I think we could start to see some crazy down days, some crazy madness, not financial advice. What I'm going to be doing is shorting the rallies. If SPY does get some type of rally momentum back to the upside, I will be shorting it. Looks like here on the smaller time frames, bulls might be trying to stage some type of bounce, maybe bouncing up as high as 496. Um, we have major resistance at 500. So we have a lot of major resistance levels that if we do get a bounce, I don't think we'll be able to get back above them. So me personally, I will be shorting the rallies and going long on SQQQ. SQQQ has been doing absolutely amazing, has been pumping to the upside. It's literally just going straight up, as you guys can see. SQQQ absolutely rocketing, especially after it broke out of this falling wedge. You guys can see this falling wedge here. Retested it as support and took off and never looked back. Momentum fully shifted to the upside here on SQQQ, and I believe that this stock is going to continue to move upside to the upside as SQQQ moves inverse of the tech stocks. It moves inverse of NASDAQ. So when NASDAQ goes down, SQQQ goes up and NASDAQ is the one that had the main bubble because it has all the stocks like Apple, Microsoft, Nvidia, all of those tech stocks. And this is where the bubble is focused. So by shorting where the bubble is focused as it pops, you will make the maximum amount of money. And now again, this is not financial advice and I am not a financial advisor. This is just my personal plan, my personal research and what I plan to do. I plan to make money on the way all the way down while NASDAQ comes and fills all of these gaps buy the bottoms and then run that back to the upside. I'm going to be calling it out here on the channel. We do live streams 9, 15, 9, 30 a.m. to about 4 p.m. market open to market close. So if you see this video and you want live predictions as this all goes down, go ahead and tune in then. So for overall, guys, I'm looking at a red week for the market. Again, if we lose these key levels of support, you're going to see absolute capitulation. And we do have a setup similar to 2008. As you guys can see, we had this descending channel. We broke out of the channel, used it as resistance once, and then absolutely started to capitulate and didn't find a bottom until much later. This could be something similar to what we're seeing here with this descending channel that broke down, got used as resistance, and is now absolutely capitulating. If we use those, lose those levels of 494 to about 492, you're going to see SPY absolutely start to dump and continue to come fill these gaps, and it might go much lower than these gap fills. I think we're about to see something historic, ladies and gentlemen. Red week for SPY this week. Now, Let's go ahead and move into the meme stocks and show you guys what's going on for the meme stocks, AMC and GME. GME, I'm keeping short and sweet. AMC, I have to talk about in detail. Now, GME, I believe, is staging a bottom. I believe that GME is going to attempt to make a move to the upside. I believe that GME is attempting to come back up to the gap fill um, that it does have. It has multiple gap fills here on the smaller time frames, but it has a very, very large gap fill here on the daily time frame, sitting at this $13 to $14 level. I believe that GME is attempting to make a bottom. Now, we could see GME have to retest these lower levels of this 995, but with the momentum that AMC is getting, GME potentially will become a problem. They are trying to short 
these things down. They are trying to fight these things. If you don't remember what happened last week, we had a battle of 301 on AMC. Battle of 301 was won by AMC as it did break above and hold these levels as support. We're going to talk about all this here in a few minutes. But guys, they are not trying to let this go easy. But if the market starts to capitulate, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anymore because they're going to be too worried about staying solvent to be busy with these stocks. There's going to be too many fires on the burner. There's going to be too much commotion going on to be focused on just these individual stocks. And this is why they attacked AMC and Jimmy so hard in the last couple of weeks because they absolutely needed as many people to sell and give up on these plays. But what happened? We bought the dips. We are apes and we are never, ever leaving. This is a major problem for them. As the market starts to fade, things are about to get crazy for the meme stocks, in my personal opinion. If you have looked at what's going on with AMC in the past couple of days while the market has tanked, AMC has done absolutely amazing day after day after day. This goes to credence to show you guys that I told you that when the market does start to crash, AMC and GME will start to make moves. I believe GME will be following up here shortly. AMC with a 10% day out of nowhere, random 10% day, boom. Then we had another 9% day here, and then we had one red day, and then we had an 8% day after that. AMC bullish momentum shifting to the upside, as you guys can see, green MACD. If we go ahead and put on the alligator, you guys can see that alligator starting to shift back to the upside. You guys can see here on the four-hour time frame that we have plenty of momentum. We have green MACD, two-hour time frame, green MACD, one-hour time frame, green MACD. We're breaking out of a bull flag. I believe that AMC is going to get pushed down because of the shares, but we're going to come up and break this $3.24 level, which I'm going to talk about here in a second which is a significant level where you're going to see a massive pump to the upside if we can break and hold that level of support. GME looks like it's trying to make this bottom. I do think GME will be able to see a green week this week. So I believe that GME will attempt to bottom and then move back to the upside in my personal opinion. It might have to retest these lower levels of 995 but I believe that it's going to make a double bottom type structure and then have a pop to the upside. We do need to get back above the critical level here on GME of $11.50. We need to break up $11.50. If we can break and hold that level, you could see a decent pop to the upside for GME. But they are attacking the stock heavily. They want the same thing that they had for AMC. AMC, they had dilution so they can knock it down far. They're trying to knock this down as far as possible. But if AMC starts to get the rally that I believe that it's going to get, it doesn't matter. And if the market starts to capitulate, it won't matter. GME will be able to make its move to the upside. I do believe GME is incorporated with AMC. So that's what I'm looking at for GME. I think we will be able to get a green week. Let's go ahead and go into AMC and show you guys what's going on for AMC. AMC potentially forming a bottom right now, okay? This is a inverse head and shoulders. So this is an inverse head and shoulders. It's absolutely insane what it's making right now. If you go ahead and go to trading view, I can show you guys. We're going to zoom in and drop down into the five-minute time frame and show you this inverse head and shoulder structure that we're starting to make here for AMC stock. This is extremely bullish in my personal opinion. If we can break above the critical levels of $3.25 using that level of support, you're going to see a decent push to the upside. So we need to break around the range of 325, 330, and we could see a decent move back to the upside. We have this inverse head and shoulders type structure forming. V-shaped recovery right here for AMC stock. This is exactly what you want to see, especially while the RSI was so low. If you guys go ahead and look at the daily time frame, RSI was completely oversold rsi possibly making a double bottom type structure here daily macd macd going green it looks like amc is potentially making a bottom amc multiple gap fills back to the upside right now amc looks like a fire stock honestly no lie if i was just looking like a technical analyst and seen a stock that had this massive pullback and then rsi oversold and also starting to get this type of bounce, I'd be looking at higher highs because I think this stock's about to make all of these gap fills, especially if I seen all of these gap fills here. I would be like, whoa, there's a potentiality that this stock could have a massive rally. And it looks like this could actually happen, ladies and gentlemen. You could see AMC stock start to fill all of the gaps. And if SPY starts to crash and fill all of its gaps, inverse AMC will start to go and fill all of its gaps. 
there is no telling what we could see, ladies and gentlemen. Now, right now, we're starting at the bottom. We need to stay focused. We need to be cautiously optimistic because they are not going to let this thing go easily. But I believe we are closer to ever to actually seeing a bottom on AMC, a reversal, which could lead to an uptrend, which could lead to major problems for the shorts, especially now that we see that they have not left. As you guys can see, 16% short interest or text reporting much higher levels. And you guys can see consistently they are trying to short this thing down, spending money as cost of borrow starts to rise. I told you guys once cost of borrow starts to rise, price would start to rise. And you guys can see cost of borrow is steadily raising up. If these cost of borrow levels go higher, you will see price go higher as well. We are going to be tracking this here on the channel. I told you guys once cost of borrow started to go up, once short interest started to go back up, you could see price go back up. And this is exactly what we are seeing here on AMC stock. I believe we could be staging a reversal. And if we can get up to these higher levels, we could see decent moves to the upside because of these fast drops down. That's going to lead to massive rallies to the upside because we dropped down so rapidly and left so many gaps with so little support and resistance. It could lead to massive rallies once we get bullish momentum. And it looks like that is what's happening here on AMC stock. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, I would be cautiously optimistic because I think that AMC stock is about to see a potential rally. We could start going up to fill these gap levels. These levels are high as nine dollars. If we go ahead and just put on some of the moving averages, you guys can see coming back up to retest the 200 moving average would take us all the way to 13 bucks now if you go ahead and look at what type of gains you could be making especially if you did happen to average down or buy down here at the bottom you could be making massive gains to the upside as you guys can see all the way up as high as 1700 percent if we do fill that top gap if we only filled some of the gaps you would see as high as 700 percent so ladies and gentlemen i believe we could start to see AMC start to reverse, move back to the upside, and we are breaking above these moving averages and retesting them right now in real time. If you look at the daily time frame, we did reject from that uh, 21 moving average here. If we start to break above these levels, again, the three key levels of like 325, 350, around that range, you're going to start to see massive pops back to the upside for AMC stock. And I believe that's something that we could see here this week. Um, this week, what I think we could see, I'm going to have to play it by ear because we don't know how crazy this could get. I know people uh, might not be used to all the hype from this channel, but what we're seeing here in the market and what we're seeing here on AMC stock, this could truly lead to something much, much greater here for the apes. So this is what we're going to be looking at for AMC stock. I do think we could have or I do think we're going to have a green week here for AMC stock. Last week, we had a green week for AMC stock. And I want to remind people that if we get another green week, that is extremely bullish. But I want to show people something even crazier that if we get another red week here on SPY, that is almost unprecedented. If you also look here on the daily time frame, we have not had this many red days in a row in over six years ladies and gentlemen you can go back and not find six green red days in a row on spy if you go back in history so things are truly unprecedented right now if we get another red week that's going to be absolutely crazy all right so as far as amc i do think we're going to be seeing a green week as far as spy i think we're going to be seeing a red week which would be unprecedented and as far as jimmy i think we'd see a green week as well i wanted to point out here earlier in the video if you go ahead and look at what data sets dropping we do have gdp dropping here on thursday we have durable goods month over month on wednesday and on friday we have core pce but the biggest thing i think is going to be here on thursday GDP growth sitting at 2.3 on the forecast and 2.5 on the consensus, which is lower than the previous GDP, which is showing that growth is not happening while inflation is rising. Literally, the aspect of stagflation is happening right now. And I think all of these things happening with the global conflict on top of everything else is going to cause utter fear and panics in the market. And this is why I do think we could also this week see a massive massive pullback all of these things are culminating into this bubble that we see in this massive rally starting to pop and i believe that this is going to be the beginning of the crash that we talked about here on this channel so if you guys made it this far go ahead and drop a like and subscribe i appreciate each and every one of you that made it to this point of the video go ahead and tune in to discord and twitter for me even more data zero updates and as always y'all have fun stay safe make money peace out 
All right, guys, that was the video. If you found it informative, go ahead and drop a like and press subscribe for more content like this. Remember, you can check me out on Twitter and Discord for even more Data Zero updates. And I appreciate it if you made it this far because so few people watch till the end of the video. So if you see this message, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe if you want to show support. But I appreciate you if you made it to see it this far. As always, y'all, have fun. Stay safe. Make money. Peace out.